Well, now we're just going to sum up briefly what we've learned in the first chapter, and not only that, we're going to look at directories. Now, if you actually need any support on directories, if you just look on the forums, because there will be a topic that is just on about setting up directories for Pascal and free Pascal, because there are slight differences. Okay. Now, one important reason for creating directories is you want to create folders where you can store files. If you're not 100% sure what a folder is, just think of this. When you start your computer, you can click on My Documents off the Start menu. And it's got all your documents. And inside My Documents is My Pictures, My, my Music, and okay? Now you can put certain music files into the music, certain picture files into the pictures, etc. Well, what we want to do the same thing. We want to be able to create directories in which we can save certain pass files to certain directories. It makes it nice and tidy. And it also makes it a lot easier to find certain programs that you've been working on if they're in one folder which is purely just for pass files. Because straight away it gets stored in the bin file. But as I've said, there'll be detailed explanation in the forums. As for summing up the chapter goes, well, we've, we've not really learned too much. It's been nice, slow pace. We've introduced, been introduced to Pascal and Free Pascal, should I say. Um, even though they are practically the same thing, I think you'll have noticed one difference, and that is the fact that you can copy to and copy from Windows, which is a nice plus to the Free Pascal, but that's pretty much the only difference. And we've just learned a few statements, right, Ellen write and read aloud. and we've also looked at annotation and those are the fundamentals of programming